This is the fourth map. We're on Boyle. Spike versus Rainbow Shadow. Current score. Rainbow Shadow has two maps. Spike has one. And you should watch the other games if you haven't seen them already. They're in the playlist that you're probably on right now. Or find the playlist for Spike Zonatic January Dual Cup. Or my generic Zonatic Dual Commentaries playlist. This is a very vertical map. We're going to see the blaster used a lot. We're also going to see some light texture glitches. If anyone knows how to fix that, please let me know. Don't know how. Um, other than just turning off lights, which looks even worse. Spike. Is, this is very... Quiet start to this map. Normally we see quite a lot of uh, frantic flailing around on this map. But not going to see too much of it right now. Big collision with the two. Rainbow took a lot of damage. Rainbow taking even more damage. How has he not managed to go down yet? Spike, if he can connect even just one more shot, I think Rainbow's got to go down. But can he find him? That's always the interesting question. And there it is. One and a bit more shots. Rainbow Shadow goes down. Up in the air. And taken out. Spike. Floating around this map. Seems to have uh, a little bit of a better understanding of where everything goes on this map. You sort of see that Rainbow is... Very much going point to point, whereas Spike's going point to I'm going to intersect with you uh, and catch you off and do damage and then to point. Trying to take that armor, but Rainbow's going to get it, but still go down. Spike probably quite happy to give up that armor for a frag and taking a very quick early lead, quite a large one. Rainbow just pulling out at the wrong time actually there. But he's going to get the Mega for it. Losing the Mega Armor to take the Mega but goes down. Spike is on very low health. Usually when you see the die, <laughs> you, you see it after you kill your opponent. You're on really, really low health. You're like, like, Spike was on 12 health there. Rainbow Shadow knows that he's close. But he just can't finish it off. That does tend to be the thing. If we look at the damage... Okay, this time the damage is quite different, but I suppose there's a big score difference as well. But sometimes you can see a huge score difference, not a very big damage difference. And you know that a lot of the time, one player got down to uh, very low health. Before making the frag on their opponent or managing to scutter off, pick up some health and ammo. And Spike here definitely making that a possibility as he scoops up even more items. Contesting over at the Megan makes a beautiful rail shot. Got to be careful of those electro spam. They are all around. Nice little bit of moving up that stair to not get popped everywhere by the side bars. Knocking Rainbow off of the side of the map. What a beautiful shot that was. Connecting it just at the right time. Rainbow comes up the top. Spike's just going to drop down. Get the hell out of dodge. And uh, get stuck on a wall I think a little bit there. But just as Rainbow came up there. Spike was like. Now nah, my armor's up. Uh, I'm off. Pop down that hole. Oh he's gone low. He's going to push in even though he's so low. Just getting in. Picking up that mega health. And making it out. Alive somehow with the frag. 8 to nil at the 4 minute mark. Spike is absolutely controlling this map. Not letting Rainbow have anything in this game. This one is a total domination. Rainbow is going to pick up the mega, arm, uh, mega health there. Spike not there to contest it. Beautiful air shot. Here's the blaster uh, going up. He should be able to connect the finishing shot, but Rainbow's going to be able to make his first frag on the board in this game almost halfway through, and he's managed to connect it. But Spike should still have a fair bit of control over this map. 
should be able to get in and uh, get in and see how he can do. Beautiful shot there from Rainbow Shadow. Now we see that Rainbow's making these moves around the map that Spike was making at the start. Those moves where you don't just go point to point. So clearly Rainbow does have control over the map. May have just taken a few minutes to warm back up to it. Definitely got that knowledge that I thought he potentially lacked at the start of this game. But definitely has that knowledge to um, move around the map in that way. Sometimes you can just forget it and you need to get back on the map, move around in simplistic ways. I love that little drop. Just that little drop onto the side of the stairs gets you moving very quickly. Bang, let's go. We're going fast now. Nice shot from Rainbow. Spike's still got a commanding lead over the scoreboard, so he is able to play this a little bit more cautiously because he was able to play so aggressively and fast and loose and do the damage earlier in the map gonna pick up the the mega armor with two health left and finds the frag on rainbow even there picking up the mega health and rainbow can scream die because he was on two health before that but rainbow with a bit of a bad a uh, bit of bad luck and spike with some absolutely beautiful placement you know you, you can get bad luck, but it takes a skilled opponent to capitalise on your bad luck of a bit of a dodgy spawn and turn that into two frags back to back. Really does take the skill there. Ignore the notification noise in the background. Professional, honestly. Spike's electro placement in these games has been impeccable, honestly. He's made so many catches with that electro. <laughs> Rainbow definitely tilted on this map. So I think we are going to see a Spike victory just from the tilt alone. But hopefully he can reset for the last map. Assuming we get a last map because Rainbow could take this now. Uh, if he were to make the comeback, we still have two minutes. Definitely not likely. Would be a hell of a comeback if he does. But the comeback starts with one frag. Spike gonna get a fucking slap though. Oh uh, yeah, we definitely got tilt because we have the calls of a hundred meter away slaps, which the slap range is huge in this game it really is and if you're but it's one of those weird dodgy like you see it in a lot of games especially tf2 about the melee weapon range it's basically the same problem as tf2's melee weapon range stuff that um that the slap kind of extends more when if you're if you're slapping someone and you're going forwards and they're going backwards, the slap kind of extends a little bit more than maybe it should. Um, it's very difficult to get a slap and to have the presence of mind to get a slap. The shotgun might be a spawn weapon, but it is very dangerous. It can put out 40 damage uh, at close range as a shotgun can do some decent chip damage, relying on RNG, of course, over a distance, relying on that to vaguely be on your side. Rainbow completely in the wrong position, caught off guard with not enough health to take a couple of hits. But yeah, uh, pretty much every weapon has a use in Zenotic, and I do like that about this game. But we might have our main three weapons that you see Spike using right here, but every weapon has its use and people are going to use the shotgun from time to time as a budget vortex when they have no vortex or no vortex ammo in the rare circumstance that ammo is a problem in zoonotic 
because it rarely is. Two seconds left. Spike's going to take this one. They're up at the top. There it is. We're going to map five. And I'll see you there. Thank you for watching.